So what's going on guys, girls, men, women, YouTube. So this is the before and after video. If you recall the JBL 1000, uh, 1100 watts that we had in the uh, unboxing of the 60 plus thousand or 60,000 plus pallet. Well, if you recall that video, then you know what the JBL looked like when we took her out of the box. She was completely smashed. The top part was completely smashed. Sort of looked at like uh, my Sony speaker that I kept. Well, we want to show you what it looks like now after a little bit of work on it that I did. So... I want you guys to be able to see it first. Thanks for tuning in again. We appreciate it. And of course, as I said, I'm Ed from Kansas City. So let's take a look at what the speaker looks like now. Okay, so here's what it's looking like right now. But what did it look like at first? There you have it, guys. My baby is, uh, she's broken. But I lifted her up and, you know, I got my screw there, driver. And I thought I needed to take this plate off to put this uh, cable in. But it actually went, goes in from the reverse side. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So, um, yeah, I inserted that cable. I thought I needed to take that black plate off there. Uh, that cover there to this right here. I thought I needed to take that off in order to slide this cable in uh, on the opposite side, which I learned from the top cable there that it doesn't go in that way. But even though this, um, I do see a switch here. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I don't know if this switch here is broken doesn't appear to be close this a little bit yeah that doesn't appear to be broken at all guys as you can see i think that's how that goes so i'm i'm still optimistic about it it just looks like to be honest that uh that it has some serious cosmetic damage to it which is this head piece here this board here but I am we're gonna plug her up guys we're gonna see if she's still working because this is a big factor guys the uh, this is a big factor this is the JBL party back party box 1100 so let's get her plugged up and see what's up guys okay so here we go guys let's get it plugged up and power on and see what we actually have here Sticker off of here. I hit the power button there. Okay. Okay, guys, can you see that? You see that, right? Cool. Let's find out if it's working. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> JBL 1000. Got some cosmetic damage as we noted, guys. But uh, other than that, a whole lot of buttons here. That is pretty. Huh. Dang, man, I'm so nervous. Let's see what let's see what it does, guys. Hear nothing. I hear absolutely nothing. Uh oh. Ryan, in. we want Bluetooth mode. Functionality.
right. So we got some action out of it. I was nervous because in the box it was broken. It's got DJ effects and all that sort of stuff on it. So, um, So that has the DJ effects on it on its own. So cool. All right, guys. So we are in some sort of business with the JBL one. So yeah, as you can see, it was smashed up. I was very, very, I was honestly concerned, guys. I was really concerned. This is a $1,200 speaker. So with tax, when you think of tax on $1,200, you're adding at least another $150 on there. And that takes that $1,200 speaker up to $1,300, $1,400. So uh, that was a really, that particular one speaker in itself was really a major part of the order. Of course, you can't order pallets uh, for specific or particular items that, you know, you're hopeful that will really help you gain back your money. Because if those items are not reliable, then that can put you in a, you know, a real bad situation. So, as you can see here, uh, as you saw, the, the, it, looked, it, it looked really smashed up and I was really concerned. I instantly went in the house and got my uh, screwdriver because I needed to put the cable back in. And I, then I found out I didn't need to take the screws out of that little plate to put the uh, cables back in. Uh, because they went in a reverse angle. Fortunately, the only thing, as you saw in the video, is what is really the, I don't know how that could have happened. Maybe it, I don't really know. But there's no damage whatsoever. Take a look. No damage whatsoever, guys. So all of this part here, I'll just kind of show you guys. Uh, this whole part was off so we did a little bit of work I did a little work on it uh, nothing broken now nothing damaged any further turn her around here guys for you as you can see now it is flush guys it's flush just took a little bit of work about to tip over some stuff here. Sorry there. I'm trying to turn that cord around. So as you can see, right up in here uh, would have been where it was really, really messed up. So now it's pretty solid now, guys. Very solid. We got uh, the screws back in and stuff like that. And it's really solid now, guys. Really solid. So it's really, really solid now. Um, so we'll get something uh, going here. And you know it has all these different functions here, these different buttons, guys. It has, uh, it has, actually has, uh, let's see here, guys. So it has a lot of, uh, it has what's called smart dj right there guys which uh synthesizes or syncs with uh whatever you know uh music you're playing i'm gonna hit the smart dj here extremely loud speaker guys Our DJ should kick in. Yeah, you see some more DJ kicking in. This 
this is recording right here. So I can push that button there. I don't know how smart uh, that DJ is, honest. This is a hell of a speaker, guys. Hell of a speaker. Pump her all the way up. So there you have it. Really, really back in really excellent condition. For the most part, guys. For the most part, excellent condition. There's that bucket of beats I told I was working on. I need to uh, see if I can get something going with those. I got like uh, several boxes of these that need uh, maybe just maybe some of them need, as you can see right here, um, new wire. That's all they may need there. Like this one here needs a new wire. As you can see that one is broken off right there. This one here. So what I'm intending to do is the ones that probably have damaged speakers since I'm not really a refurbisher or anything. The ones that have, you can see this one right here. I got a, a big box of these as well. The ones that need, um, speakers what i'm going to do one one that need cords the ones that have bad speakers what i'll do is maybe see if i can change the cord on it since it has a good cord if the ones that have a good cord maybe take their cord if it has a bad speakers on the other one and switch them out something like that guys but i figured i'd show you guys uh what we got out of that you know the aftermath of that uh and at the same time we had so we had a lot of things that uh, mostly are working so far. So I still got a lot of things to test. I end up having uh, having in stock quite a few of the uh, quite a few of the uh, power adapters for those extreme twos and those boom boxes and stuff like that. So I had four on hand. Uh, that was really I'm really glad about that. Uh, so got just about every last single one of them charged up and uh, I think out of the whole batch of those JBL uh, you know the flip fives the uh, not the flip fives we had those two I didn't really test any of the flip fives there's a few of them in there maybe four or five but uh, the the charge fives the extreme threes the extreme twos and the boom boxes uh, out of all of those, we probably only had maybe three, four, five. I would say seven tops that just don't work, period. And then we had two of them that was sound a little shaky. So other than that, they were pretty great. So I want to get you guys back in because I thought I did a really good job on that JBL party, that JBL uh, box there, speaker there. I thought I did a really great job on it as far as getting it back uh, solid, you know, that top piece real solid because, um, as I said, that whole thing, this was, it was such a concern as you saw in the little video I threw in there. Uh, so now he's, this guy's ready to sell. So $1,200. Now, rather than selling him all broken up, you know, for pretty much nothing. And this is the, this is the only speaker we have ever heard. It destroys the Sony, you know, it destroys the Sony one. There's my Sony one right here, guys. 
with the top part on there there was not much fixing I can do with that but I wanted to keep one so that's the one I kept I take the you know can't keep everything of course so uh, I figured I keep that one there a little bit of light for you guys so I figured I keep that one there uh, even though it's broke up it still plays like like I wanted what I needed for it, it, it achieves that that purpose for me so as I said we have we have one right here this is a generic one that sounds really really loud but it doesn't have the sound quality uh, as the uh, JV as the Sony does as the Sony V1 V71 has but it is a really really uh, I don't know if I can show you guys all that but it's a really really good speaker really loud I bought it from my competitors a while ago actually we were exchanged they wanted a their son wanted a uh, a uh, their son wanted a, one of the electric skateboards that I had and so we did some swapping out and uh, that's how I got that one over there so that's the one I had to keep for myself it has damage so rather I need I need it I wanted one for myself because I like it because it does not distort I love the bass the other one it has that generic distortion when you turn it all the way up and even will um, sensor will filter power off when you play it too loud for an extended when you play it like max loud for an extended period of time it'll power off them uh, which it doesn't do a lot but it does do it so it's a really great speaker can't take anything from it I would have not even kept it if it was a bad speaker but the Sony I love the sound of that better but none of neither one of those can even match this guy here he is the champ so uh yeah that's that's the boss there guys that guy there he packs a serious punch he shakes my house there i can hear the cabinets everything shaking so thanks for tuning in guys uh i appreciate it again and i figured i'd come back and show you guys uh what we actually got done on that good good work there so now he can sell for about i'm thinking no lower than seven i, I don't i wouldn't take six for it at all uh because that's close to the price range of the the sony uh that other speaker that i showed you guys he sells those for about 400 and uh really 400 he tries to get 450 out of them uh i sell the sony brand new i'll sell that one for 400 used i'll sell it for anywhere between depending on the condition 400 to 350 uh, i have sold some for probably 325 uh, depending on the condition some of them have defects such as the cd player is not working things like that uh, so depending on the grade of the quality and the condition that's it can go anywhere from between th lower threes to to 400 and so but this one here i would not I would not sell that one for 500 it's too close to the price range of the other i wouldn't sell it for six either it's got to go for seven so i need at least seven for that speaker right there so that's still saving the customer 500 bucks that's damn near still half price almost so they're paying you know really great price you know it, it so now it's, it's technically i guess you can say certainly refurbished uh since i had to do repairs on it uh but it is still as you can see it is in still you can't you could never you could not even tell that it had any sort of work done on it you know and i'm glad that it did not need any kind of major work done all it needed was uh snapping a few pieces back in place uh screwing some screws out reconnecting uh those screws back in place and uh some 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 gorilla glue super glue and it was it was good to go guys it was good to go so uh that's a plus there so yeah it was good to go guys perfectly good to go so now it's it's solid you know i am going to uh, advise the customers not to uh you know when they're picking it up not to really drag it i mean it has wheels on the back of it anyway but uh you wouldn't want that coming undone which it's very solid trust me it's very solid i've already moved it and tested it and everything so it's pretty solid thanks for tuning in 
appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't checked out the other videos that we've already done leading up to this video and this lot of this little aftermath type thing, check them out. And I appreciate you guys. Have a good weekend. Bye for now.